If I didn't know anything about butterflies and someone told me that this was once this, I would probably think that they were joking. They look nothing alike and they seem to be two different creatures that have no connection to each other. But how does a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? And what can this transformation teach us about our identity in Christ? Before a butterfly becomes a butterfly, it starts out its life as a caterpillar, a crawling creature that loves to eat leaves. As soon as a caterpillar hatches from its egg, it immediately starts eating. And all day long, almost all they do is just eat and eat. One day, the caterpillar reaches a certain stage of their life where they just stop eating and then they attach themselves to the underside of a twig and hangs upside down in the shape of a J. And there, the caterpillar starts molting. A process where it sheds its skin or outer coating and underneath it is a hard shell which forms the chrysalis. Inside this chrysalis is where the transformation of a caterpillar to a butterfly happens. This extreme transformation is called metamorphosis. In this process, the caterpillar transforms in a cellular level where its muscles, digestive system, and organs get dissolved and turns into ooze. But as some parts of it get dissolved, new parts are also being formed. It is a dangerous process, but that is what it takes for a caterpillar to earn its wings. After a few weeks when the transformation is complete, the chrysalis splits open, a reddish liquid spills out, and a butterfly emerges. And as soon as its wings expands, it starts to fly and live out the rest of its life as a butterfly. What's amazing about this metamorphosis is that the transformation goes beyond just the physical. Not only does a butterfly look different from a caterpillar, it also thinks and acts differently. As a caterpillar, it crawled on trees and leaves. But now as a butterfly, it knows it doesn't have to crawl anymore. Somehow the butterfly knows that it has wings and now it can fly. Also as a caterpillar, it used to love eating leaves. But now it drinks nectar from flowers. Even the appetite and diet of the butterfly has been completely transformed. Now, what does this amazing transformation have to do with our identity in Christ? There is a verse in the Bible from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, this person is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Just like how a caterpillar was turned into a butterfly, the Bible tells us that we too are a new creation in Christ. Our old self is gone and the new is here. Think of the crawling, leaf-eating caterpillar as your old self without Jesus. The sinner, separated from God and doomed for judgment. The moment you accept Jesus into your life, you are a new creation, just like a butterfly. And notice it does not say that you are becoming a new creation. The verse says that you are a new creation. But unlike the caterpillar, we did not have to suffer the painful and deadly process of physical metamorphosis inside the chrysalis. Someone else underwent the suffering for us. And this someone is Jesus. He paid the price so that we could be a new creation. Because of what Jesus did, we have been transformed from a sinner to a saint, from unrighteousness to righteousness, from death to life, from darkness to light. Of course, this is all because of God's grace. This is not something that we have earned. It is a gift that is given to us because of our faith in Jesus. Jesus paid a high price so that we can become a new creation. But sadly, many of us Christians don't see ourselves as a new creation. We are like butterflies who still see themselves as caterpillars. And when you still see yourself as a caterpillar, you will think and act like a caterpillar. That is why the Bible is telling us in Romans 12 verse 2, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And here's the interesting thing about this verse. The original Greek word for transformed is metamorpho. The exact root word for the process of transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly. And in Ephesians 4 verse 22 to 24, it says, 
to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Butterflies are a reminder that we are a new creation in Christ. We should stop seeing ourselves as a caterpillar, our former sinful selves. Start seeing yourself as who you really are in Christ, as someone who through God's grace has been declared holy and righteous, a recipient of God's salvation, grace, mercy, and love in Jesus. Because that is the truth about who you are according to God's word. You were a caterpillar, but now you are a butterfly, a new creation. As we end, if you have any additional insights about what we talked about, please share it with us in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click that subscribe button, give this video a like, hit that bell icon, and share this with someone. That's it for us today. See you in the next video and God bless you.